Hello guys, welcome to the fifth session of using Microsoft Board Framework, Louis and Cognitive Services tutorials for beginners. In this session, we will create first board using Microsoft Board Framework. Let us switch to Visual Studio and click on Create New Project. Under Visual C Sharp, select Board Application, which we have added in our previous session. Set name for the project. I am using Board Tutorial and select folder where your project will be saved and click on OK button. Here is a project that we have created. First of all, we need to update NuGet package of Boat Framework. For that, right click on the project and select Manage NuGet package. Click on Restore button came in top. If not come then select Boat Builder and click on Update button. Accept changes. If you get any error such as any package is used by another process then you need to restart your device. If you note file structure of project you will be very familiar to it. Boat application is just like MVC Web API project. It contains web API config.cs file controllers and a dialog is an additional folder for storing dialogs for our project. We will learn about dialog in next session. It also contains global.asax and web.config files. By default, it will create one controller named message controller. Let us open it. Like controllers in web API, here message controller extends from API controller. It contains action for post method, which takes activity from body. As previously said, the boat connector uses an activity to exchange information between boat and channel. Any communication going back and forth is an activity of some type such as message, ping, typing, conversation update, etc. Here it is checking if it's a type of message then process an incoming message within the conversation using send a sync method which takes two parameters first is activity that we have received in request and another is function which will return new instance of root dialog if activity type is not message then we will handle it using handle system message method and pass activity in which it is using if else later for delete user data, conversation update, cancel relationship, typing or ping. Let us run it. Here is home page. We need to open message controller for that write API slash messages. Because of we are handling post method, it will not open from browser. Let us open Board Framework Emulator and here in top we need to post URL of our API. After entering endpoint, it shows fields for Microsoft Application ID and Microsoft Application Password. While we are debugging locally, we can remain those two empty. Click on connect or press enter. From bottom, we can send text message as well as attach files to. By clicking this button, our boat emulator will restart the conversation. From setting, we can start new conversation, send system actions like conversation update, typing or other, end conversation or change zoom level. Let us send hello message. Here we got you send hello which has 5 characters. Details section contains JSON data that written by board framework and log section is placed in bottom which will contain all logs that we have added. Let us see what we have learned in this session. To create board, we need to open Visual Studio and create project talk type board application. After creating project, we need to update NuGet package and run project and copy URL to message controller. Then open Boat Framework Emulator and paste endpoint URL and send message to it. That is it.
Here I commonly use list of activity that supported by both framework. Message represents any communication between bot and user. Conversation update indicates that bot or other member add or remove in conversation. Contact relation update indicates bot was added or removed from user's contact list. Typing indicates that the user is typing. Ping represents an attempt to determine whether a bot's endpoint is accessible or not. Delete user data indicates that a user has requested to delete user's data. End of conversation indicates end of conversation. Message reaction indicates that a user has reacted to an existing activity. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubt, please feel free to contact me. Have a nice day.